Um, so, when we're looking at determining the distance, this is question number 10. When we're looking at determining the distance between two points, one of the main things we want to make sure we do is we label our points per the distance formula. All right? So, what we're going to do, could you make sure you check into that other seat? Check into the other seat, yes, yeah, so you can see up there. There you go. So, if you remember, we have this label that's x1, this will be x2, y1, and then y2. All right? Label the points. Then, because the reason why we're going to label them, because if I'm asking you to find the distance, we talked about the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. OK? So it's just going to be the sum of your two coordinates, and then you square them. Just make sure you're adding x2 and x1 um, to there. So now, to find the distance, I just take x2, which I notice x2 I wrote here is 8, minus x1, which is a negative 2, plus y2, which is a 3, minus the negative 1. All right? So then what I'll go ahead and do is now let's go and simplify this. So 8 minus a negative 2 is going to be 10. 10 squared is going to be 100. So remember, guys, what we're doing here is we're applying our order of operations. We're doing inside the parentheses first, and then we're doing the powers. 3 minus a negative 1 is 4. 4 squared is 16. Then you have 100 plus, 106, 100, 100 plus 16 is going to be 116. All right, and for right now, I'll just have you guys leave it as, that, uh, as a radical. We always want to look into see if we can simplify it, which in this case, actually, we could simplify this. Um, so that would be 25. That's 20, 29, I believe. 29 goes in there. 4 goes in there 29 times. 4. Yeah? For the second part, Third part, I'm not sure. You're just taking x2 and y1 and putting them together. Yep, I'm just plugging them in. Or x. I just labeled x1, y1, and x2, y2. Together, right? Huh? Yes, I subtracted the x's and the y's together. Okay. Yep. And notice that each one of those are different. Um, and then we can go ahead and simplify this. Um, we're not going to talk though so much about simplifying. If you guys just want to leave your answer. Um, in that form, we will get over how to do the simplifying. Um, but I do believe I could take out um, a 4. That would mean the square root of 29. So let me just write out the answer. I believe it could be 2 square root of 49, 29. I believe. I have to go and double check. Don't worry so much about that right now. Did you write down the problem? All right, you need to find a new seat.